This is the Missing Persons Reports, brought to you by Jamaica Chronicles. The Portmore Police are seeking the public's assistance to reunite this elderly man who gave his name as Winston Adams with his relatives. He was found wandering along Brayton Parkway in Portmore, St. Catherine, on Tuesday, February 13. Anyone with information that can assist the police in reuniting Winston Adams with his family is asked to contact the Portmore Police at 876-989-8422, the 119 police emergency number, or the nearest police station. The police have cordoned off a section of the Guava Gap Main Road in St. Andrew where a man was reportedly shot in the head and thrown from a vehicle on Tuesday afternoon. Spent casings were observed on the roadway. Meanwhile, residents of the community say the deceased is unknown to them. A major operation that was carried out by the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the Jamaica Customs Agency led to a significant stash of firearms being intercepted at the Freeport Warehouse in Montego Bay, St. James, on Friday, February 9. The operation has been described as a significant blow to the transnational movement of illegal weapons from North America into the Caribbean and a demonstration of the effectiveness of the combined efforts by law enforcement agencies to combat organized crime and protect the nation's borders. Using advanced non-intrusive inspection technology, the officers detected anomalies within a shipment from Florida, USA during routine scanning procedures. The suspicious consignment, a blue plastic barrel addressed to a recipient in Bogue Village, Montego Bay, St. James, prompted a thorough examination by the contraband enforcement team. Reports are that about 10 a.m., officers uncovered a total of 14 firearms and 15 magazines hidden among household items. The weapons recovered were all pistols, which includes .45 and 9mm calibers. A man known only as CJ, Fugitive, and Shippy has been identified as a person of interest in relation to the investigation. The authorities believe he can help to advance their investigation and are asking him to report to the nearest police station by midday on Wednesday, February 14. Members of the public are being urged to share any information they believe may be helpful in advancing the particular investigation or any other police probe. Detectives assigned to the Denham Town Criminal Investigations Branch are seeking the public's assistance in identifying the body of a man who was killed at the intersection of Princess and Beeston Streets, Kingston, on Monday, February 12. The body is of dark complexion, slim build, about 5 feet 11 inches tall, and has a dreadlocks hairstyle. It was clad in blue jeans, camouflage shirt, navy blue pullover, gray shoes, and red tam. Reports are that at about 8 p.m., a police team was on patrol in the area when explosions were heard. The team responded and the man was seen lying on the sidewalk with multiple gunshot wounds. He was assisted to hospital, where he was pronounced dead. Another man later turned up at hospital and reported that he was shot and injured in the same area. Meanwhile, anyone with information that may be able to assist with the investigation is asked to contact the Denham Town CIB, the police emergency number, or the nearest police station. Police have launched a search for an armed thug who shot and injured a man at the Oakland apartment in St. Andrew on Tuesday. Police sources report that sometimes after 10 a.m., the criminal went to the premises and minutes after entering, gunshots were heard. The shooter was later seen, leaving the area. The police were alerted, and during a search of the premises, a man of Asian descent was seen suffering from gunshot wounds. He was taken to hospital, but the status of his condition is still not known. 
Detectives investigating the matter said they are probing several angles. One of them was that the attack may have been a robbery attempt. Detectives from the St. James Division are currently investigating a shooting incident that resulted in the death of a woman and injury of a man on Monday night. The incident took place shortly before 9 p.m. on Kent Avenue in the vicinity of a popular food establishment. The victim has been identified as Denisha Samuels, also known as Anna, a 20-year-old woman from Warwick Hill, Norwood, St. James. Investigators have identified a person of interest in connection with this homicide. He has been identified by his alias, Stephen. Stephen is from Rose Heights in the parish and is believed to be the ex-boyfriend of the deceased. The police are asking him to present himself to the police in St. James by midday Tuesday, February 13, 2024. Reports are that Samuels was overheard having a heated argument with her ex-boyfriend. He reportedly left the location and returned in a white Toyota Axio motor car and opened gunfire at Samuels. Early responding officers from the Barnett Street Police Station discovered Samuels with gunshot wounds to her head and upper body. She was immediately transported to Cornwall Regional Hospital, where she was pronounced dead on arrival. Detectives are appealing to anyone with information regarding this incident to come forward to assist with the ongoing investigation. The Jamaica Constabulary Force is also urgently reminding everyone to seek to resolve domestic disputes peacefully and amicably. For those finding it challenging to navigate interpersonal conflicts, we strongly encourage seeking assistance from one of the JCF's Domestic Violence Intervention Centers island-wide. St. Mary Me come from the annual charity stage show organized by the Fireman Capleton, will make its return to the parish on August 5, 2024, after a six-year hiatus. The show will be held at Gray's Inn Sports Complex. It was last held in 2018 and has seen some of the biggest dance hall and reggae artists performing. Proceeds of the show go to selected charitable projects in the parish as Capleton's way of giving back to the community. First held in 2000, the stage show got its name from the lyrics in Capleton's 1999 track, More Profit, which appeared on Steely and Cleavy's Dirty Money Rhythm. With challenges behind him, he's overjoyed that the show will make its long-anticipated return this summer. Capleton, whose real name is Clifton Bailey, was unable to confirm which artists had already been booked, but reassured fans that he has been in discussions with many talents. The Staple Stage Show has raised funding for charitable projects in St. Mary, which is Capleton's native parish. However, for its 14th staging, the annual show was held at the National Arena in St. Andrew. The show was not held in 2019, and Capleton's team had anticipated returning in August 2020 before the pandemic affected the staging of live events. <laughs> 